Hi everyone, it's me. Hi everyone, Sailor Moon, Sailor Yorn is here. And today we're going to do this talk. And it's about something in Sailor Moon that a lot of folks out there, some might be happy with, some might not be happy with. Homosexuality, but that's a hell of a borrowed word, learned word for it. The English word would be, I'm not sure what the English word would be. Love picking? Yeah. Since one actually picked through, you know, picked who they were going to love. Now, I know there's going to be some out there saying that there was no pick. Well, when you're younger, you you have to develop who you like, what your picks are, you know. So the same thing would be said with that, all right? So if anyone's going to claim that it's not a pick, well, when you're younger, yeah. As you get older, you start developing, start making your pick, and then you pick who you love. Now, I'm not going to talk about if it's right or wrong, because that's not even what this film's about. This film's about how homosexual, how it was ha how it was done in Sailor Moon, and some of the shifts that had to be done as far as Deke and Cloverway went. Now, you had Zoisite and Kunthite, who are also known as Malachite, because they did shift the name on them. Um, yes, they were lovers. Yes, Zoisite was a, was a, had to be shift to a woman to stop any, anyone out there from getting mad and saying it was wrong when it didn't really do anything that you could say was wrong. But Deke didn't want to get any, didn't want to get in that bind or hang up over someone telling them, I just watched a Farseer show with a man with two folks who, had, you know, who were the same the same kind and they happen to be in some kind of friendship or whatever you want to call it well Deke had to shift it and Zoysite became a female and Zoysite has always been a female as far as Deke goes and Pioneer goes and even Cloverway goes now a lot of folks are going to say that there were that it was wrong to do that now back then a lot of folks didn't think it was right to have that on the far seer and and you know in the films and whatever there are still some folks out there that think it's wrong and i'm not going to make a film saying it's right or wrong because that's you know since it's all based on one's belief um and then as you get into cloverweight oh yes you're right sailor moon hold it there when you get into Cloverway, you got me and Michelle, who were lovers, who were from that, who made that love pick, and uh, we became near kin. Now, some folks out there have said that was that the, making us near kin may have not been a good thought, but I guess it was more good than not doing nothing. And you got to keep in mind, this was still during the time where folks thought it was wrong for it to be on the far seer, thought it was wrong to be in the films. And why they thought it was wrong, I don't know. And I'm not going to uh, make a whole film talking about was it right or wrong for folks to be that way, because we all know it's not. Um, but Cloverway didn't want to get any hang, didn't want to get in that same bind that Deke found that we're going to get themselves in. So we so me and Michelle, or Sailor Neptune, we became near kin. And then later on, you had Fisheye, who she didn't really do anything wrong to say. She just cross-dressed. Well, I meant to say that he cross-dressed, so then he became a she. So in the end of the day, even that had to be shifted around a bit. They really didn't do anything they, you know, but I know there's going to be folks out there saying, well, what about the Sailor Starlights? Well, first off, they weren't Deke and Pioneer and Cloverway had no work on that whatsoever. They lost the rights to it and there was too many things for them to shift around and clean up. 
Well, you're right about that, Sarah Yornis. You are right about that. Um, you're right about that. So, at the end of the day, I'm just here to say it was, I think Deke did a good job with what they had to work with. And they think they, they did a good job handling it. Now, there's going to be some folks out there that are going to get mad and say it shouldn't have been done at all. But you got to remember uh, the what folks believed and what they fought at the time and what they thought was right to be on the farseer and what was wrong to be on the farseer. And that is what they believe was wrong. And you got to keep in mind it was going to kids back then. And the adults were going to be in their bearers or raiders were going to be watching it with them. And if the kids were okay with it, didn't mean the raiders and bearers would be okay with it. But now, I think if they did it now, a lot more folks out there would be would be a more a more, more all right with it now. You know, as that doesn't mean to say that everyone would be, but a lot more folks would be more all right with it then. And I think that Zoysite and Kunsite got handled, or Milikite, I think they got handled good. I think Sarah Yoranis and Sailor Neptunes, Mar, Mar and Michelle, did, got handled good. And I think Fisheye got handled. I think she got handled good at the end of the day. Yeah, you're right about that, Sailor Moon. I mean, there wasn't really any, way, any other way you could have handled it back then. You know, some folks out there thought, oh, just throw it out there. But back then, you just couldn't throw something out there back then because there would be folks out there that would say it was wrong. And maybe even if it was not wrong, the folks watching it at the time would, you know, bitch at Deke that they just saw this or they saw that. So Deke and later on Clover Way didn't want to get in a hang up. They didn't want to get the show besmirched by these folks out there that didn't know how to hand, didn't know how to deal with that stuff. So I think at the end of the day, Deke and Pioneer and even Cloverway, but did a good job of what they had to work with. And I think that everyone came out good. Now you might say, oh, why does Viz not have to deal with that? Well, keep in mind, Viz is basically just work, they're, they just do for grown-ups. And that's why Viz doesn't have to, uh, have to, uh, hold, doesn't have to do all that. And even with, say, if the show was re-aired now, I'm sure a lot more folks out there would say, you know, would sit their kids down and talk to them about, un, you know, uh, unlike love picking and how folks develop, how that, ha you know, and things like that. And I'm sure that it would, that would be all right with it. You know, if it was airing now. Back then, I don't really know. But Deacon Klein, Deacon Cloverway had to do what they had to do at the time. You know, I'm Sailor Moon, Sarah Yornis. We'll see you later. Ah.